There's nothing wrong with being famous. It comes with its perks, and that goes without saying, but it also comes with a fan following. It comes with overwhelming responses, comments, criticism, backlash, and sometimes even threats. In this video, we'll take a look at YouTubers who made it big and then for one reason or another completely vanished without a trace. Jenna Marbles Born Jenna Nicole Murray, a prominent figure on YouTube known for her comedic content and vibrant personality. She kickstarted her journey in 2010 with her viral video, How to Trick People into Thinking You're Good Looking, which catapulted her to internet fame. Over the years, Jenna amassed a massive following of 20 million subscribers who hung on her every word. Her content ranged from humorous skits and vlogs to zany beauty experiments and random musings on her daily life. However, despite her popularity, Jenna faced backlash for past videos deemed racially insensitive, including instances of blackface and derogatory remarks. In June 2020, Jenna made the decision to leave YouTube indefinitely, citing the need to address and apologize for her past mistakes. Her final video on the platform was an emotional apology where she took accountability for her actions and expressed uncertainty about her future on the platform. This marked the end of an era for Jenna Marbles, leaving behind a legacy as one of YouTube's most influential and beloved creators. Nutty's Diary Nathaman Nutty Kongchak, a once popular Thai YouTuber with around 800,000 subscribers, initially rose to prominence on her channel under the aliases Leia and Sukchata. Her content ranged from singing and dancing tutorials to K-pop covers and daily vlogs, earning her a dedicated following. Kongchak's early success on YouTube led to opportunities in the entertainment industry, including performances at events like the KCON Thailand and appearances on TV shows like I Can See Your Voice Thailand. Before her success, Kongchak briefly pursued a singing career in South Korea, releasing two singles on the label Dream Cinema. However, her social media presence ultimately took precedence, leading her to return home and focus on building her YouTube channel and Instagram following. Despite her growing popularity and wholesome image, Kongchak's transition into endorsing private Forex trading courses marked a turning point in her career. Forex trading, short for foreign exchange trading, involves buying and selling currencies on the foreign exchange market with an aim of making a profit. Allegations emerged that Konchak persuaded her followers to invest, promising them high returns. However, many suffered financial losses, leading to complaints and an investigation by Thai authorities. The fallout from the alleged scam had left thousands disillusioned, prompting an ongoing search for Konchak, who was rumored to have fled to Malaysia. Her victims have banded together, offering rewards for information leading to her arrest, underscoring the dangers of fraudulent investment schemes and the importance of due diligence and financial transactions. Ultimately, it's reported that Konjak disappeared after allegedly scamming people for $55 million, leaving her subscribers shocked and outraged. Sky Does Minecraft Enter the pixelated realms of Minecraft, a virtual universe that has ensnared the imagination of millions worldwide, beckoning players to explore its boundless landscapes. Among the pioneers of this digital domain was Sky Does Minecraft, the alter ego of Adam Dahlberg, a YouTuber whose exploits garnered an impressive following of over 11 million subscribers. But as the sun set on Sky Does Minecraft's reign, a new chapter unfolded with the rebranding to Sky Does Everything in 2018 promising new, diverse content. However, beneath the surface of this digital empire lurked shadows of scandal. In January 2022, a tempest of allegations erupted as Dahlberg's former flame, Elizabeth, exposed him in a letter. She accused Dahlberg of exhibiting erratic behavior, attempting to control her, and subjecting her to verbal abuse and degradation during their relationship. Dahlberg had been active in the gaming community since 2011 and identified as non-binary using they-them pronouns. Despite Elizabeth's use of he-him pronouns in her letter, she alleged that Dahlberg displayed homophobic tendencies and disrespect towards the LGBTQ community. Elizabeth shared what she claimed to be evidence of Dahlberg's volatile behavior, including screenshots and recordings of their conversations, where he appeared to taunt and insult her. Additionally, she accused him of pressuring her into having a child, infidelity, and failing to provide for their family. In her harrowing account, she revealed feeling frightened and emotionally numb throughout their relationship, even expressing thoughts of self-harm. Dahlberg reportedly came clean to Drama Alert, attributing his behavior to mental health struggles and medication side effects. 
But the drama didn't end there. In a shocking twist, rumors emerged in 2022 of the Sky Does Everything channel being listed for sale on a clandestine marketplace. Its price tag? $8 million. This sparked another controversy, of course, as YouTube doesn't allow anyone to sell a monetized channel. Snakebit McGee Kenny Veach was a YouTuber best known for his hikes and adventures, exploring caves and different mystery areas. In late 2014, Kenny shared a chilling tale in a video called Son of an Area 51 Technician. He talked about discovering a mysterious cave shaped like a perfect capital M near Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. Kenny described feeling intense vibrations as he approached the cave, prompting him to flee in fear. Little did he know, this video would set off a chain of events leading to one of the state's most baffling urban legends. Kenny's story caught fire on YouTube, with many users urging him to revisit the cave and document his findings. Armed with a weapon and a video camera, Kenny embarked on a second expedition, but couldn't locate the cave. Disappointed, viewers pushed him to try a third time, with one commenter warning him not to enter if he found it. On November 10, 2014, Kenny set out for his final hike, telling his family he'd be back soon. He never returned. His disappearance made headlines, sparking a frantic search. Kenny was an experienced hiker and had explored the area extensively, even leaving comments on the Area 51 video detailing his adventures. Despite search efforts, Kenny remained missing. Speculation ran wild with theories ranging from accidental falls to encounters with military secrets or aliens. Then, a woman claiming to be Kenny's girlfriend shed some light on the situation. She revealed that he battled depression and likely took his own life. She recounted their desert hikes together and urged caution to those considering a search, saying, I'm the girlfriend that Kenny spoke of in the video. So many people are wondering what happened and guessing different things. You are heartfelt about the sadness around what has happened with Kenny. He has not been found and I feel that he probably will not be found for many, many months, if ever. Kenny absolutely loved hiking in the desert. It was his very, very favorite thing to do. We hiked and camped all over the Nevada desert, sometimes nine hours a day. We explored many caves and mine shafts. We were always careful how we explored them. But Kenny was a bit more daring than I was. I want you to know that I don't think Kenny had an accident. He battled depression for many years and would not take medication or see a doctor. The search for him was started within a couple of days of my call. Over 30 search and rescue team members searched three different times on foot. There was no trace of Kenny or any of his camping things. They found his car in the area I told them it would be. They did find his cell phone by the mineshaft in the video. He also did not take his video camera with him on a solo hike. It was left at home so he had no intention of filming anything. Was this the end of the story? Had the puzzle of Kenny Beach finally been pieced together? The internet buzzes with speculation. Despite repeated investigation, the truth remains uncertain and unresolved. Some believe Kenny ended his own life, as suggested by his girlfriend's account. Others argue that Kenny returned to M Cave, uncovering a secret hidden within its depths. The mystery endures, leaving it up to you to draw your own conclusions. Paranormal Lana Also known as Alana G, she gained popularity on YouTube for her captivating videos exploring real-life events, spooky tales, paranormal phenomenon, and all things eerie. Her renowned series True Scary Stories delved into mysteries like the deaths of Elisa Lam and Kendrick Johnson, while scary games that you can try yourself provided instructions for spine-chilling games like The Midnight Game, a ritual believed to summon a supernatural entity into one's home. She began a new series called Vampires Over History, with a dedicated fan base she affectionately called her paranormal family, totaling over 50,000 subscribers. However, on September 3, 2015, her channel vanished without a trace. Nothing. Everything was deleted, and not only from her YouTube channel, but across all social media platforms. Even her email was disabled. This sparked discussions across horror-themed and other genre channels about the sudden disappearance. The most viable reason was that she had a stalker, and she was getting death threats, to the point where she became seriously scared and had to take such drastic actions. These speculations arose from deleted tweets, indeed hinting at the presence of a stalker. So there you have it. There's nothing wrong with being famous, but sometimes, just as it comes with its perks, it also comes with a lot of disturbing baggage. If you like this type of content, drop us a comment, tell us what you'd like us to talk about next.